In this video, we will demonstrate how to use Quartus 2 software to simulate a logic circuit with a schematic design entry. The instruction can be found in the lesson package. Let's open the instruction file. You can use the navigation pen to view all the topics available in the document. Now let's launch the Quartus 2 software. You may close the start page and let's put the instruction and the Quartus 2 software side by side for easy referencing. The first step is to create a new project in Quartus 2. Click on File, then New Project Wizard. Click Next on the Introduction page. Step 1 is to specify the directory project name as well as the top level entity name. For the working directory, you may use any other working directory, but for this demonstration, let's put our project in the D drive. Quartus schematic entry folder. As for the project name and the top level entity name, let's name it as logic circuit. Click next. Since we have not yet created the directory Quartus schematic entry, Quartus 2 software will prompt a message box asking if it should create the desired directory. Click yes to create the directory, which will lead us to step number two. Step two is to add any existing files to the project. As we do not have any existing files, just click next to proceed to step number three. In step three, we need to specify the family and device settings. Choose Cyclone 2 as the target device family. And from the list of available devices, choose the device called EP2C35F672C6, which is the FPGA used on the Altera DE2 board. Click Next. Step 4 is to specify any other third party tools to be used uh, in the project. Since we will rely solely on the Quartus 2 tools, we will not choose any other tools. Click Next. A summary of the chosen settings will appear in Step 5. Click Finish, which returns to the main Quartus 2 window. As you can see under the Project Navigator, Logic's circuit is created as the new project. In this section, we will learn how to create a new schematic file to specify a logic circuit in the form of a block diagram. As a design example, we will use the expression S equal to PQ bar or with PQR. The logic circuit and truth table are shown below. To create a new schematic file, click on File, then New. Or you can simply click this file icon on the top left corner. Select Block Diagram or Schematic File under the Design Files and click OK. A new schematic file will be created. Save the file as logic circuit. A schematic editor window will be shown.
The Quarters 2 graphic editor provides a number of libraries which include circuit elements that can be imported into a schematic. To import the logic gate symbol, click on the symbol tool, then click the plus sign to expand the hierarchy in the library box. Browse to the primitives, logic, and select the logic gate that you would like to insert into the schematic file. For example, this is an AND gate with 12 inputs, AND gate with 2 inputs, AND gate with 3 inputs, NOR gate, and OR gate. You may check the repeat insert mode to allow multiple insertions of the same symbol. We will first add three two input AND gates. To exit the insert mode, we need to right click and click cancel, or simply just press the escape key. Next, we will add a two input OR gate. It is still under the primitives logic library. Search for a two input OR gate. And lastly, add a NOT gate. Next step is to import the input or output pin symbols. We can use the same procedure as for importing the gates, but now choose from primitive pin library. On quarters tool, click on the symbol tool and browse to the primitive pin library. We will need three inputs and one output pin. Press escape key to exit the symbol insert mode. After placing the symbol, you can move them by clicking on it and dragging it to a new location. We can also assign names to the input and output symbols. Double click on the pin name, a dialog box will appear. Tap the new name and click OK. Change the pin name to P, Q, R, and S. The last step is to connect the nodes with wires. Click on the orthogonal node 2 icon. To connect the wire, left click the starting point and hold down the mouse button. Drag the mouse to the end point and release the mouse. You can click on the arrow icon to exit the wire drawing mode. Let's detach the window for a bigger view. You can also hold down the control key and then scroll up or down with the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Repeat the same procedure to draw the remaining wires.
the asterisk symbol represents that the file is not saved. Let's press Ctrl S to save the file. After we have completed the schematic drawing, we will need to analyze and synthesize the design before proceeding with the simulation. Click on the Analysis and Synthesis icon to start the process. Make sure that Analysis and Synthesis are successful. A compilation summary will be shown on Quarters 2. The next step is to create a test bench waveform to specify the test pattern to verify our circuit. To create a new vector waveform file, click File, then New. Or simply just click the file icon. Select vector waveform file under Verification or Debugging Files and click OK. If this dialog box pops up, just click OK. Name the file as Logic Circuit. Next is to include the input and output nodes of the circuit to be simulated. Click Edit, Insert, Insert Node or Bus. Click on Node Finder to find the node that we wish to add. Set the filter to Pins All and click the List button. All the I.O. pins available in the design will appear on the Notes Found column space. Click the double right arrow icon to copy all to selected node list. Click OK to close the node finder window. Click OK again to close the insert node or bus window. The vector waveform file will appear with the I.O. signal inserted. To change a grid size, select Edit, Grid Size. Enter 1 microsecond as the desired grid size in the prompt window. To change the end time, select Edit, End Time. Enter 8 microsecond as the desired duration of the simulation. Select View, Fit in Window to see the full simulation duration in the Vector Waveform file. The last step is to set the test values. Since our circuit has only 8 input variations, we will simulate all the 8 input variations given in the truth table. We can simply generate the clock signal to toggle the value at 50% duty cycle. Use the clock period of 1 microsecond, 2 microsecond, and 4 microsecond for signals R, Q, and P respectively. To set the test value for signal R, Click on Signal R to select a waveform. Then click the override clock icon. 
enter the period that is desired for the input signal. In this case, 1 microsecond. Repeat the same procedure for signals uh, Q and P, but use clock period of 2 microsecond and 4 microsecond respectively. The input signal stimulus will be updated accordingly in the vector waveform file. Press Ctrl S to save the file. The final step is to perform a functional simulation. A design circuit can be simulated in two ways. The first one is the functional simulation. It is used to verify the functional correctness of a circuit. It assumes no delay in the propagation of signal and the speed is faster. The second one is the timing simulation. It is used to simulate the actual implementation in the chosen FPGA device. It takes into account all the propagation delays and the speed is slower. Let's follow the step to perform a functional simulation in quarters 2. First, select functional simulation mode. To do this, click Processing, then Simulation 2. If this dialog box appear, just click OK. Select Functional as the simulation mode and make sure that Logic Circuit Waveform file is selected as the simulation input. Next, click the generate functional simulation netlist to generate the netlist. Make sure that the generation is successful and click OK. You may now close the simulation tool window. Click the start simulation icon on the top to start the simulation. A message box will appear when the process is completed. Click OK to close the message box. The simulation result can be seen in the simulation report window. Let's compare the simulation result with the truth table. In the first input valuation, when P, Q, and R are all 0, S will be 0. When P, Q, and R are 1, 0, and 0, S will be 1. In the last input valuation, when P, Q, and R are all 1, S will be 1. The generated waveform matches the truth table.